a Texas police department has changed a key detail in the shooting of an unarmed black teenager, amid mounting calls for the officer to be arrested. Jordan Edwards, 15, died after Officer Roy Oliver fired a rifle into a car that was driving away from a party in the Dallas suburb of Balch Springs. Police initially said the car reversed aggressively towards the officer, but footage discredits that claim. Police Chief Jonathan Haber said he misspoke. Officer Oliver has been fired violating several department policies, a police statement said, adding that the department cannot give further details on which policies have been violated since Roy Oliver can appeal the termination. Officer Oliver fired into a car full of teenagers as they left a party on Saturday night, Chief Haber said after reviewing the body cam video. The car was actually driving forward away from police, and not reversing toward them when the shots were fired, he explained. I was unintentionally incorrect yesterday when I said that the victim's vehicle was backing down the road, Mr. Haber said on Monday. In fact, according to the video that I viewed, the vehicle was moving forward as the officers approached. The officers' behavior did not meet our core values, the police chief said. Jordan, who was in the front passenger seat, died after being shot in the back of the head. His 16-year-old brother and three friends were detained at the scene and taken to the Dallas County Sheriff's Department, where they were interviewed as witnesses. Jordan's cause of death has been ruled a homicide, however, that does not necessarily mean charges will be filed against the officer. The Dallas County Sheriff's Department and the Dallas County District Attorney's Office are conducting a criminal investigation. The incident occurred on Saturday night when police responded to reports of underage drinking at a house party where around 100 kids had gathered, neighbors said. Officers were inside the home trying to find the owner when they heard outside what they believed to be gunshots, causing panic at the home as people fled. After going outside, the police officer fired several shots which killed Jordan, a first-year American football player at Mesquite High School. His coach Jeff Fleener, told the Dallas Morning News that he was crushed and heartbroken to learn that Jordan had been killed. You create a checklist of everything you would want in a player, a son, a teammate, a friend, and Jordan had all that. He was that kid, he said. A vigil was held at the school on Monday evening, and the school district said they are mourning this terrible loss. Lee Merritt, lawyer for Jordan's family, demanded the officer's arrest on Monday. We're declaring war on bad policing, he said as Jordan's parents sat silently beside him, wiping their eyes with tissues and gazing downwards. America throughout the country must figure out a way to police its citizens without killing them, he continued. Two days after a Texas police officer was placed on administrative leave in the shooting death of 15-year-old Jordan Edwards, authorities say video of the encounter contradicts internal information they received about it. Balch Springs Police Chief Jonathan Haber had previously said that an officer had fired at a car of passengers heading toward police in reverse. But at a press conference on Monday, Haber called that statement unintentionally incorrect and said video evidence revealed the car was actually driving away from officers. After further investigation, I have additional information that is contradictory to the information that was provided to me, Haber said. The police chief did not say who provided the original, incorrect information. He also declined to release a copy of the video to the media. The unidentified officer at the center of the case shot into a vehicle on Saturday night, killing Edwards, a freshman at Mesquite High School. At the time of the shooting, Edwards and three other teens were riding in a vehicle that Edwards' 16-year-old brother was driving. On Sunday, Haber told reporters that an unknown altercation had occurred before the shooting, and that the officer opened fire after the vehicle started backing down the road toward the officers in an aggressive manner. But the police chief now says footage from a body-worn camera tells a different story. Haber says he was unintentionally incorrect when I said the vehicle was backing down the road. In fact, according to the video that I viewed, the vehicle was moving forward as the officer was approached. Dallas attorney Lee Merritt, who represents Edward's family,
told HuffPost on Monday that the shooting occurred as the teens were leaving a party. As they backed out of a parking space, they heard someone shouting profanities at them, Merritt said. Before they had a chance to respond, the person shouting at them shot three shots into the vehicle and one of the three rounds went into Jordan Edwards' forehead. Merritt, citing witness statements, said the bullet that killed Edwards came through the front passenger side window. Haber said the officer who shot Edwards has been with the department for about six years, and has been placed on administrative leave. He also made it clear he had questions about the account he'd received and why it differed from the camera footage. I do have questions in relation to my observation on the video and what is consistent with the policies and core values of the Balch Springs Police Department, Haber said. The police chief, citing the ongoing investigation, declined to comment on the weapon the officer used to shoot Edwards. The Dallas County Medical Examiner's Office has ruled Edwards' death a homicide. A spokesperson for that office told HuffPost the teen's cause of death was a rifle wound but declined to say whether the weapon was an AR-15, a rifle popular with law enforcement agencies. Merritt was unavailable for comment on Tuesday. Both the Dallas County Sheriff's Department and District Attorney's Office are investigating the shooting. Police in suburban Dallas fired the officer Tuesday who shot and killed a black 15-year-old boy riding in a vehicle leaving a chaotic house party taking the swift action sought by the teenager's family and protesters who link the case to other deaths of African Americans at the hands of law enforcement. The Balch Springs, Texas, officer, identified as Roy Oliver, was terminated for violating department policies in the shooting death of Jordan Edwards, police chief Jonathan Haber said. Edwards, a high school freshman, was leaving the party with his two brothers and two other teenagers Saturday night. Police arrived at the scene to investigate an underage drinking complaint and spotted the vehicle leaving. Oliver opened fire as the teenagers were driving away. Shots from his rifle pierced the front side passenger window, hitting Edwards in the front seat, according to Edwards' family attorneys, Lee Merritt and Jasmine Crockett. His 16-year-old brother was driving. Haber said Oliver, who joined the department in 2011 had committed several violations of policy, but wouldn't say what they were because Oliver is entitled to appeal his firing. The Dallas Country District Attorney and the Dallas County Sheriff's Office are investigating the case. The race of the fired officer was not revealed. Police originally said the teenager's vehicle was reversing in an aggressive manner toward officers, but Haber said Monday that video taken at the scene proved the vehicle was actually driving away. The police department's latest statement, released Tuesday night, says officers entering the house heard gunshots ring out during a chaotic scene with numerous people running away from the location. As officers exited the house, they encountered the vehicle backing out onto a main road and driving away despite their attempts to tell the driver to stop, the new statement said. The Dallas County Medical Examiner ruled Edwards' death a homicide. Thousands of Facebook and Twitter users have posted about the case in recent days with the hashtag hash Jordan Edwards, some comparing his death to other police shootings of young black men, such as 12-year-old Tamir Rice in Cleveland, who was fatally shot in November 2014 as he held a pellet gun. Edwards' family had called for the officer to be fired and criminally charged. Both Merritt and Crockett have credited Haber for correcting the mistaken statement and moving quickly to fire Oliver. No other city has moved at the rate Balch Springs has, Crockett told the Associated Press on Tuesday night. It's just unbelievable. It's absolutely unbelievable that a department did what a department should do. But a family statement released Tuesday night called for disciplinary action against other officers who extended this nightmare for those children. Our family is working hard to deal with both the loss of our beloved Jordan and the lingering trauma it has caused our boys, the family statement said. Cindy Stormer, an attorney for Oliver, issued a statement saying the shooting was recent and still being investigated. Everyone should wait until the facts come out and we know more, she said, according to the Dallas Morning News. Friends have described Edwards as a good student and popular athlete. 
Edwards and the four people with him decided to leave what was becoming an unruly party as they heard gunfire and police were arriving, Merritt said, citing what witnesses had told lawyers. As they drove away from the party, Crockett said, the brother driving the vehicle heard multiple gunshots that were close enough to leave his ears ringing. It took a few moments before the people inside in the car noticed Edwards slumped over, she said. They couldn't tell if he was already dead. The brother who was driving pulled over and tried to motion to police for help, she said. Instead, Crockett said, he was detained and handcuffed. Crockett said the driver wasn't formally arrested, but a separate statement from the family released throughout Merritt says the two brothers were arrested. Based on what the video captured, Haber said previously that he questioned whether what he saw was consistent with the policies and core values of his department. Haber wouldn't say what problems he saw, but Balch Springs official use of force policy encourages officers facing an oncoming vehicle to attempt to move out of its path, if possible, instead of discharging a firearm at it or any of its occupants. The video has not been released.